Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Jason Noel, and this is Fitness Anytime. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be doing two exercises in a Tabata format. Tabata format being 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So I will show you those two exercises right now. Our first exercise will be a plank row. So I'm going to be in a strong prone plank position, performing a rowing motion, driving my elbow, touching my ribs, and coming back down driving with my elbow, touching my ribs, and coming back down. All while trying to keep a nice straight line from my head to my heels. We're looking for no dipping or hiking of those hips. Second exercise, nice and simple, will be heel kicks. I'm going to simply curl my leg, trying to touch my heel to my glute. Right here, heel kicks. So that's gonna be our first two exercises. If you have not yet, grab some music, grab water, grab something to wipe off with, we go in three, two, one, plank row. Nice, strong plank position, row. Make sure you have your feet about shoulder width apart or slightly wider to help prevent rotation of those hips. We're looking for no rotation of those hips. Three, two, one, and break. So this is going to be our 10 second break or our 10 second transition period. We are getting ready to go into heel kicks. We have heel kicks in three, two, one, heel kicks. It's excellent seeing you guys today. Excellent seeing you this morning. Three, two, one, and break. We're gonna be going back to that prone row in eight seconds. Three, two, one, row. Driving with that elbow, nice and high. Maximizing that contraction by thinking about squeezing that back. Almost there and break. Eight seconds, back to heel kicks. Three, two, one, heel kicks. Almost there, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and break. Going back to plank row, seven seconds. Three, two, one, plank row. Hold that core nice and tight. You got that abdomen nice and tight. Glute squeeze, trying to prevent rotation of those hips. Palms in line with shoulders, driving with those elbows. Three, two, one, and break. Heel kicks, three, two, one. With me every day, we grow better and better three two one and break going back to plank row for our last round three two one plank row stay strong eight seconds And break. Last round of heel kicks. Three, two, one. Seven seconds. Three, two, one and break. This is where you grab a drink of water if you need to, wipe up if you need to, 
I'll show you the next two exercises coming at you. We have a lateral lunge and a burpee. A lateral lunge looks like this. So what we're doing here, we're gonna step out extra wide. I'm gonna push that hip back just the way I would in my squat, pushing that hip straight back, sinking into my lateral lunge, powering back to my start position and going back out. We're gonna be doing one side at a time. Second exercise will be a burpee. A burpee consists of a squat and a push-up. So I will be performing a squat. Hands come to the ground, push up, jump in, jump up. So feet, hip, shoulder width apart. Coming into it, hands come down, jumping back into a strong push-up position, performing your push-up on the knees if need be, jumping in and jumping up. So that's gonna be our burpee. We're starting with lateral lunge in three, two, one. Lateral lunge, going right. Step out nice and wide. Push those hips straight back, sinking as low as you can, firing back to the start position. One more, and break. Burpees coming up, seven seconds. Three, two, one, burpee. Three, two, one, and break. Excellent job, guys. We're gonna be doing lateral lunges to the left this time. Three, two, one, nice and wide. Push that hip straight back and back to the start position. And break, going back to burpees. Finishing up round two. Three, two, one, burpee. And break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming up on the third set, lateral lunge going right. Three, two, one, step out nice and wide, push those hips back as deep as you can. Always lead with those hips. One more, and break. Back to burpees. I love burpees. You got the strength, you got the cardio, nice full body integration. Excellent. Three, two, one, burpee. And break. Excellent job, guys. Lateral lunges. Last round. Going left in three, two, one, step out wide, lead with those hips, back to that start position. Stay strong. You think one thing today, guys. Think strong and break. Going back to burpees for our last round. Burpees in three, two, one, go. One more. And break. Excellent job, guys. Water, wipe off. Two more exercises. Explain coming at you. First exercise, 
cardio, mobility, high knees. Nice and simple. Knees are gonna drive up. Knees are gonna drive up. If we're going for mobility, we can go a little slower. Really get that knee up nice and high. We're getting that heart rate right here. Want at least waist height. Second exercise will be a reverse plank, strengthening the core and the full posterior chain. On a reverse plank, my hands are by my side. If I am sitting down, fingers facing forward, I'm gonna go three, two, one. My hips are gonna come and drive up and hold in a reverse plank. So those are our two exercises. We go in three, two, one, high knees. Almost there. Three, two, one, and break. In eight seconds, we will be going to our reverse plank. So we're coming down to the ground, palms next to our side, fingers facing forward. Three, two, one, hips up. Shoulder mobility, core strength, full posterior chain strengthening. Hips up guys, hold it. Break. Going back to high knees in six seconds. Three, two, one, high knees. Again, if we're going speed, we have at least waist height. If we're going for mobility, we can slow it down, but really crank it up there guys. Get it up there. Each movement, we're getting better, getting stronger, becoming more mobile. Three, two, one, and break. Going down to reverse plank to finish off our second round. Three, two, one, hips up. Think strong, guys. Break. Going back to high knees. Third round. Three, two, one. When you're doing these high knees, especially when doing speed, try to land as soft as possible. So as I, feet, as I set my feet down, I'm setting them down as soft as possible. And break, going back to a reverse plank. Three, two, one, hips up. Almost there. And break. High knees. Three, two, one, go. end of it all or at least this section of two reverse plank three two one hips up keep those hips up almost there and break excellent job guys water wipe off two more exercises coming at you we have walkouts and knee smashes a walkout looks like this so
So let me break it down for you. We have shoulder mobility, biceps kiss the ears, arms all the way up and straight. I then push my hips back, hips and hamstring mobility. Coming down to touch my toes. Walk it out, perform push up, however you need to, on the knees or off the knees. Coming back up into full shoulder mobility, mobility and strength, that is our walkout. If when you come down, you have to come down with bent knees, tuck your fingers, drive the hips, and then walk forward to get that nice stretch we're looking for. Second exercise, nice and simple, a knee smash. We'll have the left leg back, arms out, smashing in right here. So we're starting with walkouts. We go walkouts in three, two, one, go. And break. Excellent job, guys. We're going to knee smashes. Left leg goes back, smashing with the left leg. Arms up, three, two, one, smash. And break. Woo! Back to walkouts. Seven seconds. Walkouts. Three, two, one. Shoulder mobility. Hip mobility. Walk it out. Strength. It's only okay. It's only it's okay if you get just a few. This is an excellent, amazing mobility and strength exercise. And break, knee smashes, right leg back. Arms up, three, two, one, go. And break, walk out. Third round, coming at you. Six seconds. Three, two, one, arms up. And break. Knee smashes, right leg, left leg, left leg back. Three, two, one, smash. If you guys want a kick, you can change it into a kick. Go ahead and go into a full kick. Get a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. Just really still add that control in, adding that control in with those hips, kicking, getting that extra stretch. So whether you're kicking or smashing, we have five seconds left. And break. Walkouts, last round of walkouts. Five seconds, three, two, one, arms up. And break kicks or knee smashes right leg back three two one smash or kick almost there 10 seconds left and break excellent job guys water Wipe off, two more exercises coming at you. We have a step lunge and mountain climbers. Step lunge looks like this.
So what we're looking for, as I step out, I'm looking for a 90 degree bend in my front and back leg. Drop that back leg, 90 degree bend front and back. From my back leg to my head, making a straight line. Driving through my heel, coming back to my start position, changing legs. Drop that back leg, 90, 90, straight line, coming back. It's gonna be our step lunge. Second exercise will be our mountain climber. Strong prone plank position, starting with the knee on the inside of the elbow. I'm going to switch legs, driving the other knee, but while keeping the hips low. Right here, just like this. What we want to refrain from is the hips jumping up. So we want to keep the hips as low as possible while driving that knee in as far as possible. So we start with step lunges in three, two, one, step lunge. Three, two, one, and break. Going to those mountain climbers. Three, two, one, strong push up, prone plank position. Knee starting on the inside of the elbow. Switch, switch, switch as it feels comfortable. Pick up speed. and break. Excellent job. Step lunges coming back at you in three, two, one. Step lunge, step lunge, step lunge. And break. Excellent job, guys. Mountain climbers in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. And break. Woo! Back to step lunges. Third round. Three, two, one. Step lunge. And break. Mountain climbers. Third round, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. And break, last round. Coming up, step lunges, three, two, one, step lunge. Now guys, this is also a step lunge, depending on fatigue, depending on how those knees are feeling, depending on where you are in your fitness and your mobility journey. As we get stronger and we get more mobile, take it lower and lower and break mountain climbers the last round same thing with mountain climbers if we can't get that knee all the way into the elbow that is okay that's actually awesome that gives us something to do something to work on three two one mountain climbers and break Excellent job, guys. Two more exercises coming at you. So grab a drink of water, wipe up if you need to. We have a side plank and a skater. I am going to be doing a straight arm side plank today. 
normally done off the elbow, went today with a straight arm. So I'm simply gonna keep my arm, my hand, in line with my shoulder. Putting my feet out, either stacked or one in front of the other. Pulling my hips up and pushing them forward. This will be our side plank. Second exercise will be a skater. So this is where we start some lateral movement. We're gonna step left and step right while stepping behind. We can continue to make it harder by jumping and going lower. We'll do that as we go. So we have a side plank starting on our left side. Side plank in three, two, one. Hips up, glute squeeze, push forward, and strength. And break. Next exercise, skaters. We're gonna be stepping left in three, two, one. Step left, step right, lateral movement. If this is too easy, you have a few options. Start to add a little bit of plyo to it, a little bit of jumping. You can go a little bit lower. Jump a little bit further. And break. Going to a side plank on the right side, hands in line with shoulder. Three, two, one, hips up, glute squeeze, push forward, straight line. And break. Skaters going right in three, two, one, stepping right, stepping left. Go ahead and start adding that jump in if it's feeling good to you. Be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you have nothing to slip on. Go lower. And break. Side plank, left side, five seconds. Three, two, one. Hips up, glute squeeze, push forward. This time we're gonna tuck and come back straight. In that tuck, it's normal for those hips to come back. As we come straight, squeeze them forward. Tuck, glute squeeze, come forward. Tuck, glute squeeze, come forward. Tuck, and break. Excellent job, guys. Skaters, in three, two, one. Stepping left and right. Have fun with these skaters, guys. Challenge yourself. A lot of balance, a lot of strength. We normally don't do a lot of lateral movement. So definitely start off a little easy, and as you're feeling warmed up, go a little bit lower. and break. Going to a right side plank with a tuck in three, two, one. Right side plank, hips up, glute squeeze, push forward. Tuck, straight, tuck, straight, tuck, straight, tuck, straight, tuck, straight, tuck, straight. and break. Last exercise in this set, skaters, five seconds, three, two, one, step it out. Add some jump or some plyo, get a little bit lower. And break. Excellent job guys, there's only four minutes left. We have two more exercises. Drink, wipe up if you need to. We have squats and a squat hold or a chair pose coming up. So squats, I have my feet hip to shoulder width apart. My toes are facing forward. I lead with my hips, pushing my hips straight back, sinking down into my squat, staying nice and tall on the spine, returning back to start position. So think of it as a hip movement. 
I push my hips back and my hips come forward. Always leading with those hips. Second exercise will be a squat hold. So I'm simply gonna squat going to about 90 degrees and hold. Arms up so we get some extra strength and mobility in those. So we're going to squats. We have body weight squats. Three, two, one, drop it low. And break, going into squat hold in eight seconds. Three, two, one, squat hold. And break. Eight seconds, we're gonna be going back to body weight squat. Three, two, one, drop it low. Feet hip to shoulder width apart, always leading with those hips, pushing them straight back, nice and tall on the spine. We're looking for depth here, go as low as you can. It's towards the end of the workout. Looking to increase that mobility, open those hips up. And break, squat hold, eight seconds. Three, two, one, squat hold. And break, body weight squats coming up for the third round. Good to be alive guys. Three, two, one, drop it low. As low as you can. Full range of motion helps strengthen and heal those knees. And break. Squat hold, third round, six seconds. Three, two, one, squat hold. And break. Coming up on our last round, guys. That means one minute. Body weight squats. Last round, three, two, one, squat it low. Take a step if you want to. It gets a little boring, setting in one place. Take a step, drop it low. Take a step, drop it low. Take a step, drop it low. Take a step, drop it low, and break. Squat hold, last set. Three, two, one squat hold and break excellent job today guys Woo! stay with me we have one minute of mobility arms all the way up as high as you can get them. Biceps by those ears. Reach. Push those hips straight back. Back up. Push those hips back. Back up. Push those hips to the side. Back up. To the side. Up. To the side. Up. To the side. This time from standing position, I am going to walk my hands out. I'm going to drop down to the ground, making this tabletop with my body, reaching out with my right arm, lightly sinking into my shoulder. 
keeping those hips forward and switch and switch and switch coming back to that box position I'm going to take my right arm and feed it through switch left arm feed it through switch that's it thank you guys so much for joining today that's a way to get stronger get more mobile no better way to start your day if you started your day no better way to end your day or have a lunch break get it done you'll feel better you'll be healthier you'll live longer have a most excellent rest of the day.